September 1997. First disaster we've ever had anything to do with. Hi, I'm Elise and I'm the director for the Permanent Way at Hitchfield Festival Theatre. So, about 5.30 I went back and said that the body's been removed. They said no, we're coming up the scene and we'll remove them. All together in a big group later on. Oh well, you can imagine. There was a bloke there who was a PA to the cop. I said, they're a lot this is my first time directing at TFT. Um, it's actually my first time directing adults altogether. I've directed a lot of under 18 things before, youth theatre, when I was teaching, but no longer do that. So um, I thought I'd give the adults a go and sometimes they actually prove more difficult than the kids. There's things only the survivors remember, like the smell of the scene. You don't want to describe that in any detail to strangers. But you're able to talk about it among yourselves. In fact, the whole thing was very hard for a young man in his 20s to deal with. The Permanent Way is set in modern day. It looks at the lives of those affected by the rail accidents that occurred after the privatisation of British Rail in 1996. We see people from survivors bereaved to the staff and the investigators who were affected by the accidents at Labrador Grove, Southall, Potters Bar, Hatfield, to name a few. Um, we meet a bereaved family who lost their son. We meet a bereaved widow who lost her husband. We also look at the lives that have been affected by the long-lasting effects of being in a train accident. Um, a survivor who was seriously burnt, someone who suffers with PTSD, and we also meet staff who were blamed for the failings of the railways and whether they were actually at fault or not. So, after the crash, I forced myself to take conscious. I took my hands down from my face, just going on my My right leg was still on fire, I didn't think anything of it, just patted it out with my hands and the carriage I was on, which was Coach H, had tilted on its side. I hope that audiences will come in with an open mind. David Hare, the author for The Permanent Way, is renowned for writing political pieces of theatre. I have asked the cast and I ask yourselves as audience members to come in with an open mind to view this as an emotional journey rather than a political blame game. Put your voting thoughts aside and come in with an open heart and tissues at the ready. So that's where we started to get really worried. We phoned British Transport Police, but they were useless. All they said was, stay by your phone, we'll call you. But they never did. At 4am, we, we phoned them back. And they said, there's a meeting of the families tomorrow at the Royal Lancaster Hotel. Do you want to go? Well, yes, we said, we do. This show has been rehearsed during lockdown and COVID restrictions in England. We have been very lucky in that we've done this in a six week rehearsal period. And so the cast were only on Zoom for one week. Then they were in person in small groups for two and a half weeks and then the final two and a half weeks they have been rehearsing as full show runs to bring you this production of The Permanent Way. I once read about a woman who wrote a letter to her friend mourning her husband. She sought comfort everywhere and she couldn't find any. Except, she said, at the end of the letter, there is one thing. The Permanent Way will be live at Titchfield Festival Theatre with a socially distanced audience in Covid secure venue from the 24th to the 29th of May opening at 7.30pm every evening. It will also be streamed on Friday the 28th of May and Saturday the 29th of May. To get tickets or find the stream link visit www.titchfieldfestivaltheatre.com.